Welcome to Gabby's Throat of Crazy. Hi guys, I'm about to react to <coughs> my voice. I'm about to react to what is the best fruit. Now I don't know what the video is going to be about. Well, it's kind of crazy, but about the best fruit. But like, I love so many fruits. I haven't tried all the fruits. But like, the main fruit like kiwi, strawberry, banana, watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew. Like, I just like it. I like it all. Well, I don't like purple grapes. I love green grapes. I love green apples. I hate red apples. Some fruit, mm, but I, the juicy fruit like watermelon, watermelon, and pineapple. You can catch me with the fruit. All right. Oh my puff looks stupid. It really looks. Oh my. God. I got stuff in my. Oh Jesus. <sighs> Trying to make it look cutie cute. Okay, let's get to the reaction. Re no, okay, reaction. I don't talk like that for real. Hi, I'm Ginger Pill. Today we're settling an important topic. Which fruit is the best fruit? Now you gotta hear me out here, because I'm making the video, which means you don't really have a say in this debate. But it's oh. not a debate, it's just fact. But I'd like if you went and paused the video right now and go comment what you think the best fruit is. Watermelon. Go ahead, I'll wait. Watermelon. Did you do it? Probably not, but that's okay. I bet you already thought about what your favorite fruit might be. Maybe you're keeping it simple with an apple or an orange. Perhaps you're a fan of tropical fruits like mango or pineapple. Or maybe you're a little pretentious and decide to go with something weird like a dragon fruit. That's a very impressive fruit. I'm, I'm very impressed. You can pick pretty much any fruit you want to be your favorite, really. Except for a lemon. That's just not right. You're sick. No, no thanks. Life. Anyways, all of these are wrong. I didn't ask about what your favorite was. I asked for the best. And the best is a tomato. What? For clarification, a fruit is the seed-bearing structure formed from the I ovary of a flowering fruit. plant. Wait, what? Plants have ovaries? Which means tomatoes are legally fruits. But you probably already knew this. But this also means that cucumbers, bell peppers, eggplants, pumpkins, and even avocados are all fruits. Well, uh, I've been lied to my whole life. Not really. People seem to associate sweetness with fruit and savory with vegetables. Mm. I associate vegetables with grossness. Got, got them. I, I've got them. Uh, hey, stop. Don't do that. But now, with all this new information in mind, look at all these fruit options we have. Mm. All of these are fruit, but tomatoes are still the winner. Why? Here's some important factors. Tomatoes are in many dishes enjoyed by everyone, even people who claim to not like tomatoes. They make great sauce for pasta, they're a key ingredient to pizza, mm -hmm. you can make salsa, bruschetta, you can make grilled tomatoes, put them on the bun, not common, but I'd eat it. But if you don't like something like bananas, you pretty much steer clear of everything that has bananas, because they don't transform like tomatoes do. <gasps> they're so versatile, we use them to yeah. eat, we drink them. Look, Spain loves them so much they're throwing them at each other every oh, year. Mm -hmm. I don't see no durian fight. They're too sharp, and when they open, they smell like corpse. Well, tomatoes are soft and fleshy, and they smell like not corpses. They're also the most consumed fruit in the world. 60 million tons produced a year. That number pretty much means nothing to most of us, but hey, dude, that's a lot, I think. They're making lots. They must be good. And look at all these colors they come in. There's red, yellow, purple, green. Is that one ripe? Maybe wait a bit. Assuming many of you guys might be millennials, I think it may interest you that tomatoes are 100% vegan. I do like that. Now, this wouldn't be fair if we didn't cover some negatives, and I couldn't think of any, so I looked some up. <clears throat> Tomatoes mm. taste like blood. Okay, I was going to question why you know what blood tastes like, but I totally thought, hmm, blood kind of tastes like coins. And now I'm wondering why I know what blood and coins taste like. Ooh. Tomatoes have poisoned many people. Okay, half true. 200 years ago, they were eating off lead plates oh. and people were dying. But I mean, you're putting a fleshy, acidic fruit on top of a lead plate. That one's kind of on you guys. Overconsumption of tomatoes can lead to acid reflux, kidney problems, Ooh. irritable bowel syndrome, Ooh. diarrhea, urinary problems. Wow, there is a lot. Mm. We're, we're going to stop there. Hey, guys, we're all out of time. There are no real negatives. They're perfect. Thanks for watching my video. If you guys like what you saw, feel free to drop a like or hit that little subscribe button. Join me next time for what the hell is corn? Seriously, is it a vegetable, a fruit, a grain? I don't know, but... Exactly. Like, I mean, I know that green, oh, not green, but like corn is a crop, but like... <laughs> I feel like it's a vegetable, but it's like considered to be like a starch, you know, because it's not good. They say it's not really a vegetable because it's like starchy and carbs. And so, anyways, guys, if you like this video, give it a like. Add me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. Both are the same thing. I gave you underscore 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 J Smith, and I love fruit. 
but I really didn't think tomato, like I knew, no, I really didn't think that tomato would be on the video. We'll talk about tomatoes because I'd be forgetting that tomatoes are fruit. Like, it would just be like, oh, I eat a tomato for breakfast. Like, no. Even though tomato is like a main green, like we use it for our pizza, um, sauce for spaghetti, and V8, if you drink that stuff. And I, eat the, I drink the V8, like regular juice, kiwi, strawberry, but not the V8 tomato. Like, I stupid or are you dumb that is disgusting jesus no but anyways guys bye and i will see you again with another video